Something really fun that we can do with the Value Graphics database is we can look at people who are fans of one brand and then also fans of a competitive brand and see what makes them different and what makes these folks tick and what makes these folks tick, how they're the same, how they're different. So we did a study, we call it the Gore-Tex. You can find a blog about it on our website at valuegraphics.com. And it was comparing the people who are North Face fans to people who are Patagonia fans and shoppers. What makes them different? Why are they choosing these brands? It has something to do with their values because our values determine everything we do. So some people are choosing North Face because of a set of values that's slightly different than the values of the people who are choosing Patagonia. What did we find? We found that people who are loyal to North Face have a huge amount of value that they place on a core human value we refer to as creativity. Anything that will make them feel more creative or like they are aligned with creative people is gonna be magnetically attractive. Now, anecdotally, I walk around here in Vancouver and I see a lot of film sets. This is Hollywood North up here. And everybody on those film sets is wearing North Face. There's just a little anecdotal example of the creativity and the belongingness these folks are finding around other people who are using and fans of that same brand. Moreover, if I was the Vice President of Marketing for North Face, one of the things I would be doing is sponsoring everything I can find that has to do with creativity and outdoor life. For example, the Banff Mountain Film Festival. This is a great opportunity to be putting some sponsorship dollars behind something that stands for what this product is all about and creativity. Now let's go to Patagonia. Patagonia consumers, just one thing we found out about them that makes them different from North Face consumers is the value they place on personal responsibility. These are people that are drawn to anything that'll make them feel like they're responsible for moving the needle, for getting stuff done, for making things happen. They wanna have an active life where they're actively influencing the things that they feel are important. Well, look at the way Patagonia talks to the world around their brand. They're out there trying to get stuff done. They wanna save the planet, they wanna move the needle, and they're saying, if you buy our product and you're part of our family, you're gonna be partly responsible for that movement to happen. It's catnip for Patagonia brand fans because Patagonia brand fans are drawn to anything that's about personal responsibility. There's just one thing we learned about North Face consumers versus Patagonia consumers and what makes them different. Creativity for North Face, personal responsibility for Patagonia. It just kind of makes sense, doesn't it? If I was the vice president of marketing for either one of those brands, I'd want to start driving in that direction, building strategies, messages, and campaigns around everything I can possibly find around the values of my customers. If you're in that business, if you work for North Face or Patagonia, I hope this helps.